Hello, hello, I'm fellow randomers. This is CTM of Firecast Studios. Welcome back to a CTM vlog question mark. And today, I'm just watching the Orion Space Launch. Okay, let's watch it. And lift off at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. It launched! The only reason I'm watching I'm doing this video is so that my blood grandpa Eldorin can see it. He's asleep. Passing 25 seconds. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, here's a computer representation. One minute. Personally, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be legally able to uh, record this. The main reason I'm recording it is because I want to put this up. Is because yesterday I woke up at 3:55 our time to watch this. Like Cape Canaveral is like three hours ahead of me. Yesterday, and they were having a bunch of weather problems. So, and then it was just me and my grandpa, who we will now refer to as Elder Ed. Still looking good. Coming up on two minutes. Two minutes into the flight. Uh. <gasps> Space. Yes, we were uh, watching some like. Control on the first stage. And the first stage is. Starboard boosters still at good uh, chamber pressures in the full power mode and the good. Uh, Core chamber pressure in the partial thrust mode at 2 minutes 22 seconds in. So anyway, and then it was just from like 4.05, the original launch time yesterday, to 4, 6.30, like 15 minutes before the launch window closed, of just waiting through stuff. Still looking good. And now, same time tomorrow, yes, the next day, I mean, Friday, mark. October, mark. December 5th, 2014, we are watching the test launch of Orion. I'll explain more later. Three minutes, one second into the flight. Still looking good. Passing Mach 5. Three minutes, 16 seconds in. Good engine control. Less than one half minute remains on free booster flight. Three minutes, 30 seconds in. We're standing by for the uh, command to go. I'm assuming those random little sparks that you can't see, but I can, are supposed to be there. About 10 seconds from now. We have partial thrust command. Port and starboard should be toggling down to the partial thrust mode. Standing by for main engine cutoff. We have cutoff in the port and starboard and separation. A good separation of the port and starboard boost. Mm -hmm. What they plan to do is have it go around, orbit around the Earth once. And then it's going to do a burn that's going to bring it really far Zero out. Yeah. And then, like, those radiation belts. And then come back down.
Where's it going to uh, splash down at? So in the Pacific? Pacific? Uh, systems are up and running. Yeah. In good shape? Yep. yep. It's just having some problems. This view, once again, of the uh, service module. Well, fairing panel jet. Bring Orion to its preliminary orbit. This is out of Houston. Now, traveling at a velocity of almost 14,000 miles. Work start up again. So am I. We need to be doing more space stuff, less of this political whatever. Personally. The uh, tracking station at Kwajalein Island out of the Pacific, the Hawaiian, Hawaiian tracking station as well, all contributing to process almost uninterrupted data from Orion for this first test flight. 16 minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Orion is now uh, some 222 statute miles above the Earth at its apogee, continuing to climb as we uh, okay, approach it is the one. It is as high as the space mark. station. Space station 238. Hmm. Age cutoff. It varies a little. Yeah, there's no way you can get a perfectly circular. Well, see, they're using the the gravity to speed it up. It'll 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 go out to the. About 238 miles, and then they'll, uh, the, the, uh, the compasses will turn it back, the Pacific, the and it'll, yeah. it'll get closer as it comes back state. like this, and yeah. that's the way well, it keeps the speed up. To so kind of like the opposite of barrel breaking, almost. First test flight. And then it'll shoot across the, the, the apogee this way, 238, 240 miles, and minutes. come back. Yep. And, and he's been doing that for oh, several years. Yep. I'm glad to see this stuff get going again. So am I. We should have ever... Well, I guess... The only good thing about us having like a little lull in time from major space stuff like this is the only good part about it that I can think of is it's given us time to perfect a lot of stuff and think about how we're going to do this stuff. Well, when, when they, uh, see, we've been out there before. They know how to yeah. do it. I know, but I mean, like, perfect it for yeah. longer trips. Yeah. I think they're, uh, the plan at one time was to use the moon for, uh, Agate, for a base station. Air station at Hangar I think that, uh, that's still a possibility. Not a big one, but still. They, they have quite a little stuff on the moon because gravity isn't near as much as it is here, you know. Yeah. Perfect insertion into its first orbit. Isn't it beautiful? We are currently uh, orbiting uh, at an altitude of 554 by 115 statute miles. And as you can see uh, from the track yeah, map here, Orion on the upper stage of the Delta IV rocket uh, moving from north west to southeast, All right. approaching yeah, uh, the west coast of Africa. Uh, this is uh, an orbit uh, reminiscent of the early days of the shuttle program when mm -hmm. shuttle missions uh, used to uh, send the space shuttle into an almost due easterly orbit. So with uh, Orion now uh, on its way in its preliminary... Hey, I am back. Sorry about all of that. I was just, you know, I just wanted to record that because, in case you don't know, this is the first, uh, that was the first flight test of the Orion spacecraft. If you're watching this in a country other than America and you don't know about Orion, I ain't ignored the bandit on my face, um, the Orion spacecraft have, is a new design by, a, is the new spaceship by a, the NASA and America's space program. And, uh, for you those who don't know, this is December 5th, 5th, 2014. It was originally supposed to be launched yesterday. Hey, but, uh, sorry, my face is, uh, the lights right there. 
My face is right here. Anyway, so, uh, pretty good place. My, uh, it was supposed to launch yesterday, but there were a bunch of weather and problems and a fuel valve thing, and they had to cancel it till today. It is about 5 in the morning. Launch was at 4.05 Eastern. No, Pacific, my bad. 7.05 Eastern. Yeah, so anyway, what this was is, is a first test flight, and, uh, it's horribly, uh, oh, jeez, my eyes are closing. It was, uh, I was about to say horribly something. It is hor like, incomplete, not horribly, but they have the command module, and they're testing to see a bunch of stuff, like, will the heat shield work? If they go through the Van Halen belts, will radiation, nope, ignore that, uh, Will the radiation be saved, etc., etc.? Mm hmm. So they just wanted to test the command module with some stuff. So, anyway, and this is the, the plan to. NASA plans to bring people to an asteroid that they direct in orbit around the moon and to collect samples with this rocket and eventually Mars. Which is what I have to about. Hmm? Alrighty. So, that is the Orion spacecraft. And because I have a feeling copyright infringement is going to show up or something for recording a semi-televised launch. Well, not televised, but online televised. All credit to uh, NASA for the footage of that and whatever people, and everybody else involved with it. That is, I do not own that footage. I just want to record it. And I'm posting it to YouTube so I don't forget it. Alright, this is CTM. See you in space.